question is, let's say in case we are in a group and a car arrives near us and a woman comes out, she says of the aunt to that one and the girl also accepts. She enters, so the next day she comes back to school. She also tells us that the same woman is calling us. She, she is going to buy us something. She's my aunt. How can I know that that woman is using that girl to also take us to be the man? Oh, that's that. that. I first did my internship in 2017 with FOSAM Uganda and um, one of the main activities that I involved myself in was um, the school outreaches on NCHA trafficking and I, I got a lot of experience and uh, the passion that I saw for this agency are on NCHA trafficking, on curbing every every activity on enter trafficking drove me to always want to work with them <laughs> These out, the outreaches that we do in schools are mainly to create awareness and to sensitize the young children concerning child trafficking <laughs> When we conduct these outreaches is um, that we go to schools and then sometimes they give us all the children from different classes. It can be like P1 to P7 or Senior 1 to Senior 6. We make it so creative, we put in so much art, we can begin with a skit and show them what child trafficking is all about. Some of the recommendations that the gap was like these children needed a daily, daily activities. And so as for some Uganda, we initiated clubs. And uh, so far, we have uh, four schools that we are initiating this, these um, clubs. We are calling them the anti-human trafficking clubs. And in two schools, they said, yes, we can start this term. That is Shereka and, and uh, Mazolidi, though that term is about to end but we are starting this term and we shall be going there next week and start over. Yeah? And for the other schools, for the other primary school, they say that we shall begin next year. It is a good thing for us that we are going to take action now. But uh, we, we have challenges like limited resources um, in terms of funds that are needed for these clubs to run. So we are going to look for ways on how we can run these clubs in schools and then also focus on sensitizing the, the parents. You find that, uh, that these parents are not also aware of, of these child trafficking issues. So we are also going to look at sensitizing the parents in the communities that these little children come from. I would like to thank every individual, every group, every family that sacrifices uh, the little that you have, the much that you have to support for some activities. You do so much uh, to create life, a new beginning in the lives of the children and for the communities in Uganda. And I will also encourage those that really want to support to also contribute and support the activities.